A peak flow meter is a device that measures the air coming out of your lungs as you blow hard into the device. This measurement is called your peak expiratory flow rate. It can tell you if your airways are getting narrow well ahead of an asthma attack. Using a peak flow meter can also tell you when to get emergency medical care, how well your asthma treatment plan is working, also if your medications need adjustment, and what triggers your asthma attacks. Peak flow zones. Peak flow zones are like traffic lights. Red means danger, yellow means caution, and green means safe. Peak flow zones can help you know when your asthma is getting out of control. This is how peak flow zones work. Green means your asthma is under control, and you are between 80 and 100% of your personal best peak flow measurement. Yellow means your asthma is getting worse, and you may need to use quick relief medications. You are between 50 and 79% of your personal best peak flow measurement. Follow your asthma action plan, as directed by your healthcare provider. Red means you may be in danger. Take your quick relief medication and get medical help immediately. You are below 50% of your personal best peak flow measurement. Use your peak flow meter to measure your lung function every morning before taking your asthma medications. When you are having asthma symptoms or an asthma attack after taking medication for an asthma attack and any other times your healthcare provider suggests. Use colored tape to mark your personal peak flow levels on your meter and be sure to add the numbers to your written asthma action plan. Bring your peak flow meter and your log of daily peak flow numbers with you when you visit your healthcare provider. Show your healthcare provider how you use your meter to be sure you are doing it right. Follow these steps to take your peak flow reading. Step 1. Move the marker on your meter to zero or to the lowest number on the scale. Stand up. If you can't stand, sit up straight in a chair. Be sure you're in the same position each time you do this test. Step 2. Take a deep breath. Fill your lungs all the way. While holding your breath, put the mouthpiece of the meter between your teeth and close your lips tightly around it, making a tight seal around the mouthpiece. Be sure your tongue does not block the hole. Blow into the mouthpiece once as hard and fast as you can. Your peak flow meter will measure how fast you can blow air out. Take the meter out of your mouth. Check where the marker has moved to on the numbered scale. Write this number down. Step 3, move the marker back to zero. Repeat those same steps two more times, then record the highest of the three numbers in a daily log. This is your peak flow number. Each person has a personal best peak flow number. To establish your personal best take your peak flow measurement at the same time in the middle of each day for two to three weeks, when your asthma is under control. Your personal best peak flow measurement may change over time. Ask your healthcare provider when you should test your peak flow measurement and find your new personal best. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more. Thank you.